summer is gone. Hi guys, I'm Erin. Many of you probably know me from my website and blog, eatmoverest.com. I recently decided to start filming some YouTube videos for friends, family, and followers, trying to teach people how to eat, move, and rest better. Um, if you're curious about what Eat, Move, Rest is all about, you can go ahead and check out the intro video that my husband Dusty and I put together, kind of outlining who we are and what we do and what we stand for. But let's get down to it. Today, we're in the kitchen and we're gonna be making uh, one of my favorite, favorite recipes. It's a dessert, so you're in luck. All right, so dessert. We all love it, we all crave it right after dinner. Uh, but there are healthy ways to eat desserts that don't involve dairy, gluten, uh, potential allergens. So today we're gonna be making something called banana nice cream. And let me tell you, if you're an ice cream aholic like I am and Dusty, you will love this. First things first, you're gonna need ripe speckled bananas. And when I say speckled, I mean leopard spotted. Just like that beauty right there, perfect. These are typically what you'll find in the grocery store. And you can see they've still got quite a bit of green on them. Personally, I used to only like bananas if they were green like this, and I know there are a lot of you out there like that. Um, but the important thing about using uh, fully ripened bananas, this is actually the optimal type of banana to eat because all of the starches have fully converted into sugars, making it much more easily digestible, easy on your, um, your gut and digestive processes, and they'll actually be a lot sweeter. So when you go ahead and freeze these bad boys, it's gonna taste a lot better. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I do to freeze the bananas. The most important step is that you want to make sure and remove the skins. The first time I froze my ripe bananas, I made the mistake of leaving the skin on and it was not easy. I had to toss them all out. So you remove the skin and then I typically put all of the ripe bananas on a cookie sheet lined with wax paper or parchment paper and then I slice them into maybe about five or six small chunks about like that um, just so that it's a lot easier on your blender when you actually go to take the frozen bananas and put them in the blender to make your nice cream. So now that our bananas have frozen in the freezer for a couple hours on the cookie sheet, a lot of times I don't go through all of them all at once. Most of the time I don't. I chop tons of bananas, so I always have leftovers on hand for, you know, at least a week's time. So with my extra frozen bananas, I usually take them off the cookie sheet and then just store them in an extra large mason jar in the freezer and it works out great. Okay, now we're gonna make our frozen banana nice cream. The first step is to add two to three frozen ripe bananas to your blender. And if you remember, we chopped our sections into about five, six pieces. So you go ahead and just count those out. However many bananas you want, really. However hungry you are. However many people you're sharing with. The best thing that you can do is let your frozen bananas sit in your blender for about five to 10 minutes before you hit blend, just to be nicer to your blender. And something else that I wanted to mention was how versatile this dessert is. You can add almost any flavors, powders, superfoods, supplements, anything that you want to flavor it however you want. One of my favorites is just to add a cup of raspberries, just to give it a nice pink color and a little bit of a different flavor. Okay, so now let's get our bowl ready for our nice cream, our spatula. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on. And I've got a Vitamix here. If you don't have a high-speed blender, I highly recommend investing in one. Vitamix happens to be my favorite. Oh, wait. All right, 
shut that bad boy off. Now you have raspberry and ice cream. Alright, go ahead and smooth it on out. Eat it quick because it melts super fast. Mmm, so good. And then I have just a few blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries. I'm going to go ahead and top it. And voila! There you have your own personal size, homemade, one ingredient or two ingredient banana and ice cream. You can find me on social media on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all at Erin Stanzik. And also, like I said in the beginning, be sure to check out our intro video that my husband Dusty and I put together to find out more about Eat Move Rest. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel, Eat Move Rest. Enjoy. Now all I need is a spoon and an appetite. Okay, wait, I need to rinse my hands. So I can take one to share the, the YouTube. It has to be like, has to have like a cover. Kind of